Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we have for you a new video and on this video we are working on a C100 hover mixer. This is a 10 quarts hover mixer. Kind of rare mixer, but um, very hard to work on it. It's a challenge to open the transmission on this on this C100. I wanna show you my other 10 cores. This is how over I used to make them. These are now kinda collection items, but they're pretty interesting machines. I have these two. These are also 10 cores, but just wanted to show you my two little units and this one that are, we are working on it. The reason this mixer came in is because if our customer gave it a bat and basically washed this mixer and end up ruining this switch. So he wanted to do it himself and he ended up pulling the whole rod out. And from that point forward, there is no other way to put it back. You have to get the transmission out. There is no way that this rod will go back in and assemble because there is a key over here. So all he needed to do was remove this pin right there and the handle would have stayed it in place, but he decided to try to do it himself. So for the switch, I even ended up doing a modification. This is a different switch, but I don't have another switch. So this is the ones that the five cores from Hover use, but he will do the job and just did a little, a uh, couple new holes for it to get it in there so yeah so we'll show you we'll show you process it's not easy it's not easy to work on these machines so if your machine is working good just get a wet towel of hot water wipe it off that will do the job but once you start spraying water you never know what's gonna happen like in this case this switch got damage and should have having a simple fix but once he decided to mess with the shifter now we had we didn't have any other choice we had to remove the transmission to put it back all together so here we go we'll try to assemble it now okay guys so Here we are, we have our shifter now, handle or rod in place. That was a little bit fun to install it, but it's in there now. Um, this is the, our remaining part for the transmission. This cover is quite a deal to get out. But yeah, some of these screws hold uh, the internal gear where the planetary spins. And we have this one that sometimes is not visible. So you have to pay attention when uh, removing this bolt. Beside this tree, there is one more here that is hidden that you might miss if you're not careful. So you have four. As you can see, four. It's a force bolt holding this plate in place. So we'll proceed. We're now continue with the assembly. As you can see, we have to be a little bit creative <laughs> to work on this ten cords. So yeah, we're almost there. 
now we are gonna put some grease inside and then we are con I'll continue with the assembly. Yep, here we go. All right, we're almost there. We tuck a good amount of grease in there. This machine probably was the first time getting open. We're talking about decades of no service on this unit and the grease was actually very liquidy already very oily black dark but we got a good amount of grease in there now nice and clean and we're now gonna assemble the last piece well one of the remaining portions we still have to put the gear planetary and then we'll be done with it all right let's continue all right guys we are almost there when assembling pay attention to the screws there's different sizes for example these two are two long ones one short and one a little bit Basically, it has three different sizes of screws. These two are the same. This one is a little bit longer than this one, but yeah. So we have four screws and one more over here. This one, most of the time, is, is hidden by the paint. So pay attention when removing this cover because if you don't remove this there's no way that it's gonna come out um, yeah now again this comes through the bottom it's it's not easy but we managed to do it so now we're ready to finish the job all right guys our mixer is ready Working good. Let us move. So this was my project today. C one hundred. Ten core power mixer. Works beautiful. Again, the only problem was this switch, that it was bad, but our customer decided to mess around with it and he ended up pulling this shifter out, meaning that once he did that, there was no other choice to put it back in if we didn't have removed the transmission gearbox. So, Again, it comes up, it comes down from, from here. It's very hard to work on it, but at the end of the day, it was a good thing that he messed the switch and he pulled the handle out because this mixer got a new service on it and should be good for years to come. So C100, 10 core core mixer ready to go and it's gonna be available for the customers who decide if they want to sell it or not but let's see what we modified the new switch because we didn't have that exact switch but it will do the job all right guys hope you like this video this is a c100 10 cores hover mixer. Um, if you have one and you want it to get service, we could do it. It's gonna be expensive, but we can definitely service your 10 cores hover mixer here in San Jose, California. Our business is located in San Jose. My contact number is at the beginning of the video if you guys want to reach out to me 
my phone so yeah have a wonderful day guys if you haven't checked my 140 course videos I encourage you to do it if you have this particular models these mixers are in the process of getting new parts and these three mixers right here need a new internal gear plus other gears but this one is made to order so 80 days plus to get these parts so this custom is with without mixer for at least another three months if you want to know why check my videos my last two videos are specifically about these two i mean uh, they are about these 140 course mixers so i had two videos that i uploaded not that long ago and today we'll we're doing this little one it's a 10 core all right guys thanks for watching like and subscribe and leave your comments below i always when i have time take time to read it so have a wonderful day guys this is our video for today our c100 10 cores power mixer i did show you a little bit how to open it it comes it opens from the bottom now through the motor like the and fit thick which is the five quarts all right guys thank you for watching have a wonderful day